The topic of this talk is polyarthritis nodosa. It is part of the systemic vasculitis. Vasculitis means inflammation of the blood vessels, and uh, usually vasculitis are classified on the basis of the size of the vessels involved. Polyarthritis nodosa is a form that involves uh, mainly medium-sized vessels. It affects people of any age, even if it is very rare in childhood and uh, in the elderly. The etiology is unknown. Usually, uh, in the past, uh, it could be associated with hepatitis B. But uh, nowadays, uh, with uh, universal uh, hepatitis B vaccination in several countries, this uh, form has decreased in incidence. Uh, as uh, many of the systemic vasculitides, uh, uh, polyarthritis nodosa sign and symptoms uh, depend on the organ system involved. In these cases, uh, many organ systems can be involved. Uh, the skin almost always, uh, but uh, the most dangerous complication arise uh, from uh, uh, kidney involvement or uh, uh, CNS involvement. In fact, uh, the disease uh, can cause uh, aneurysm and thrombosis in these organs with uh, uh, renal failure or uh, strokes. Diagnosis uh, is not very easy since uh, it usually requires uh, uh, instrumental testing, sometimes invasive. In fact, uh, the diagnosis uh, requires uh, an angiography with uh, uh, angiogram confirmed uh, uh, vessel involvement or sometimes a biopsy which should be uh, deep enough to have some medium vessel examined. There is uh, an easier form to diagnose and treat, which is a cutaneous form only, which is more frequent in childhood and which is frequently associated with uh, streptococcal uh, infection, in particular uh, group A streptococcal infection. Once uh, the diagnosis uh, is done, treatment should be immediately uh, started in order to avoid the complications. Treatment uh, is uh, a systemic treatment uh, uh, based uh, on uh, glucocorticoids and uh, immunosuppressives. Within the immunosuppressives, uh, the newer ones, uh, such as uh, uh, mycophenolates or cyclophosphamide, uh, are often necessary. And uh, more recently, some uh, uh, antibodies uh, such as uh, rituximab have been used.